three brilliant definitions. These are definitions everyone should be aware of. Everyone should understand these things. And they're very simple, very straightforward, very basic concepts that are controlling our society right now. These three things I'm getting ready to read you guys here are the things that are controlling our daily experiences by way of the media. Not our real, tangible, real life experiences, but what we see in media, what we hear in politics, okay, what we see in culture by way of the media today are grounded and founded in these things that I'm getting ready to read you here. Now these come straight out of the, the government papers. They're writing this stuff. They're being straight up and honest about it because they know we don't read this stuff. They know we're not looking this stuff up. The first is cultural warfare. And this seems to be the broad campaign of persuasion that the CCF set out to accomplish. Today, we call this the culture war. I'm sure you've heard this term many times because it's what we're under right now, especially in this with this Trump administration. We have a culture war right now, and it is a media-created culture war. There's nothing organic about it. It is completely media-constructed. It's a reaction. We're all reacting to this stuff. So cultural warfare, what is it? Well, this is, this is a really good definition. Cultural warfare. Any organized effort or movement to disseminate information or a particular doctrine by means of news, special arguments, or appeals designed to influence the thoughts and actions of any given group. And this is from the National Security Directives. So this is straight from the, the horse's mouth here. So this is what we're dealing with today, especially with CNN, uh, MSNBC, it doesn't matter what side, they're all Mockingbird Media. Mockingbird was a real thing. Operation Mockingbird is a real CIA operation. Next is, is psychological warfare. So you have cultural warfare, which is an organized effort or movement to disseminate information or particular doctrine. Limitless freedom, freedom without bound, right? Um, by means of news, special arguments, or appeals designed to influence the thoughts and actions of any given group and appeals designed to influence the thoughts and actions. So we're constantly being, in, being inundated with appeals that are designed to influence our thoughts and our actions. So this is the cultural war. Next is psychological warfare. The plan used by a nation of propaganda and activities other than combat. Okay, so it's psychological, it's not physical. Which communicate ideas and information intended to influence the opinions, actions, attitudes, emotions, and behavior of foreign groups. But I am adding domestic groups alike. So in their terms, it's foreign groups, psychological warfare, as if we only use psychological warfare on foreign groups. I would say, no, we actually use more psychological warfare on domestic groups or, or our own d domestic group. That's what we're experiencing right now. That's why we're just having all this crazy stuff going on because we are under a type of mass scale psychological warfare operation um, in the ways that will support the achievement of the national achievement of national aims. I'd say of international aims because we are working with other countries to fulfill this type of global technocracy. America just seems to be the, the tool to shape culture that will eventually shape the culture of the world. Uh, the most effective type of propaganda. This is this pretty much wraps up everything that we're seeing right now. The subject moves in the direction you desire for reasons which he believes to be his own. Similar to uh, this current activism fervor that we have today. You know, everyone's an activist now. Everyone has all of these staunch opinions. They're 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 willing to fight over perspectives that they don't really understand. In fact, they think their ideas are their own. The subject moves in the direction you desire for reasons which he believes to be his own. So they're, it's like they're leading us in certain directions. And those directions we're being led in, we believe we've gotten there under our own merit. Now the goal is to produce people who of their own reasoning and conviction were persuaded that everything the U.S. government did was correct. So their goal is for people to have conviction and use reason to explain and fight for 
motives and uh, and ideals that they don't necessarily understand but these ideals and motives are conducive to what the government wants so there's no coercion necessary at this point you don't have to coerce people to do things if you can use psychological warfare to convince them that their ideas are their own though they're your ideas this is social engineering also known as perspective management this is exactly what we're seeing today this is what msm represents mainstream media Truman says secrecy and a free democratic government don't mix. So what he's saying is, of course, it is. the United States government, along with international governments, are just drenched in secrecy. So if the government's drenched in secrecy and shadow work and a freedom, a free de democratic government, if these things don't mix, well, then what is it telling you? We don't have a free democratic government. Democracy isn't real. It's all a sham. There's nothing new under the sun, and we're experiencing the same type of propaganda that they were experiencing in the 50s and 60s. It's just at a higher level now. America is a petri dish. It is a mass experiment. It's a social engineering project. American culture is a creation, especially, I'd say, since about this movement, since, you know, post-World War II, America really took shape as a global cultural experiment certain types specific types should we say were purposely promoted extensively to subvert and and mainly to sub, to subvert our belief system to change culture in a way that removes boundaries and human rights civil rights and identity have always been used as a ploy to destroy the need for order to destroy the acceptance of obedience and even dominance god should dominate mankind God should dominate mankind's actions. It's necessary. It's in fact required. It's mandatory for order. We see where things are going. They continue to become more chaotic. 